In the months that have passed since San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick first knelt for the national anthem, young people around the country have turned what was a national controversy into a local one. Jay Caspian and Kang went to one high school in Berkeley, California, as their football team decided whether to join the protest. Well, all of us kind of were thinking about it as soon as we saw Kaepernick do it. One day, we were like, let's stand up with these other teams, with these other players. Let's take it serious. My grandfather, was a, he, he's a veteran. Kneeling for the flag is kind of disrespectful to those who, you know, risk their lives to, you know, protect us and protect our rights. Berkeley High School has over 3,000 students and serves a diverse population in one of America's most famously liberal cities. But its football team is made up almost entirely of black students. Berkeley has this reputation as being this hyper-liberal place, very progressive. Is that the reality here? Uh, I'd have to sort of disagree on that, because if you just look inside the school system here at Berkeley High, you'd see the segregation and and the racism that goes on. There was a noose that was hanging on a tree, and it was portrayed as a joke. That's my history that you're kind of just disrespecting and just putting it out there, and it's not funny. Last year, a student left a racist, threatening message on a computer in the school's library, prompting more than half of the student body to walk out of class. This year, before a football game, three players decided to do something. It was me, Daraja, and Brandon. We said, Let's raise the fish during the national anthem. And then we did it, then the coach told us to put our hands down. Why did you tell them to put their fists down? Uh, Mainly because I I didn't want my players to feel a backlash without making sure that they were behind what they were doing. When team captains told Coach Johnson that they still wanted to protest, he called a meeting before their next game to discuss what they were going to do. He let us film it. All right. So we're here to talk about the protest. I just want you to have uh, a a reason behind doing it. I want you to be able to articulate that reason behind it. I presented the idea of doing a protest of where we all kneel down and we lock arms together because we're kneeling down to stand up for black oppression and police brutality. And with us locking arms, it showed that we're doing it as a team and we're united in what we're doing. For me personally, There are these instances where police murder people, black people. And I feel like us as a school who has gone on protests and walked out of class on multiple occasions to protest things just like this, this has given us another platform to show how we feel. Personal experiences that I've been through, we get pulled over by the police and not just one cop car, but it's about four or five cop cars pulling us over. And my friend's so scared, he just throw his hands up like, The police duty is to protect and serve. And if you feel like they're not doing that, then you need to speak up. Right now, there might not be a bunch of people that agree with everything we're saying, you know what I mean? Because the flag mean a lot to a lot of people. And we can seem like we're being disrespectful in so many ways to somebody else who don't see it in our perspective. My dad was a veteran. He served to protect us. Not the flag. He didn't, the flag is cloth, you know what I mean? It's what the flag represented, and it's what us as a group, as America represents. And so when that's not being represented right, I feel like we gotta say something about it. And that's why I like, I'm not a Kaepernick fan, I'm a Ritter fan, of course. But then, you know what I mean? I like gained a whole lot of respect for him, because I feel like that's something that we have to do. We Berkeley High, we don't care about the scrutiny we gonna get, we don't care about what other people say about us. We wanna care about what we think the country should represent. Pretty much. I feel like it's nothing left to do. So I feel like this right here is a chance for me to personally protest against, you know, the system and actually make a difference. So I feel like if we could all do it together, somebody else might notice. And like, I just feel that like this, this could be big for us. The fact that I was even like debating not kneeling for your like, you know, not kneeling for you know the right, your rights to life and like your rights to like have the same privileges that I got. You know, I'm, I just want to say I'm sorry to y'all for, th- you know, thinking like that. I'm going I'm to kneel with y'all because I love y'all, and if I lost any of y'all, I would be devastated. And, you know, I'm going to support y'all 100%. You guys are everything that I thought you were. 
I mean, I, I really believe that. I mean, I, I just love you guys for the way you're speaking up, the way you're expressing yourselves, the way that it's been thought out by you. As long as uh, I feel that you're doing the right thing and it's something that you want to do, and um, um, I feel is right, I, I, I support you guys. Do you think it's possible for a coach now in a city like this to just sort of try and block out the outside world and proceed as if things like Black Lives Matter, these police shootings aren't happening? I, I think in a school with the cultural mix that we have, there's no way you can do it. And so you better be prepared to deal with it because it's gonna hit you every single day. Line up. I know like the protest isn't going to end police brutality. I know it isn't going to, you know, stop a black man from being shot or followed or beaten. But I feel like it will bring a lot more awareness to it.